kind of vegetable that eat cheese. Okay, hey, start talking now, dear. Here's Mama doing cabbage soup. Okay, well, you can mix cabbage with any kind of vegetable, like a root you have, carrots, celery, you know, everything that mix together. And this is the cabbage here. And you cut them like that, and you chop them. Just chunk it up. Yeah, chunk them up. And um, you throw them in the pot here. But what is that you just put in the pot? Carrots, celery, the roots. So this root is, what did you use? Maybe chayote, the, but you can use oh, any kind. Chayote. You can use any kind of root. So you can use a root, fire. like what was it, parsnips you Yeah, you're parsnip. You can, you can put parsnip. parsnip. You could use Carrot, a, onion. Uh, parsnips are kind of like, uh, like carrots in a way, too, because you can use yeah. parsnips. To, uh, to and mash them. You can boil them and, and mash them. Probably oh, better with them. with garlic and an onion in them. Yeah. And just throw them in with chicken or beef or beef bone, you know. So, and then you put the, the cabbage seasoning and salt and pepper in. Of course, Mom is putting it in the uh, I have pressure to the cooker chicken here. Down here. Yeah. Now there's a piece of chicken at the bottom. Uh -huh. And you put some salt in there. Whatever seasoning you have. You know, but salt and pepper, that would be enough. At home here we have garlic powder, onion powder, so I use that. But you don't have to use garlic powder, onion powder. You use fresh, you have fresh. And uh, you just put the broth on and put the water on. And uh, just cook them. Put water on. You don't have to put in the pressure car to cook at all. I do in this because Daddy cannot. Because uh, uh, my difficulty chewing right now. Yeah, so I have to, to do on this so that I can cook more. But you can put the water, depend on, and you know, when you cook your, for yourself, you just measure a bowl. And that's it. Mm, that's some cabbage soup, if you need to know what yeah. to do with cabbage. Well, there's one thing to do with it. That's it. Very simple and easy. Just throw everything together, whatever cheap you can buy. Oh, I also have a zucchini, so I'm going to put zucchini in there, too. So I throw everything in there. You don't have to cook the whole thing. You just measure them into like a half a cup or quarter cup of each. And even if you have too much of that, then you can just uh, freeze them, put them in the freezer. And then you warm them up later. In that case, you, your food will not get spoiled. Oh, but about the bread, and if the weather is cold outside, you don't have enough the freezer for that. You put it outside. Outside? Let's put it on snow. that back porch you can't uh, go out on. <laughs> yes, they have. It's a back porch. Yeah, yeah. You can put yeah. stuff on it, but you can't go out there very far. Yeah, onion. There you go. And because. Just goes there. Like right at this. Yeah. There you go. This is the good, you know. You put it at the pot you have. You don't have to put it in. I use this with a daddy pot. Look. So that's it. And just turn the bun on and forget about it. <laughs> well, you can't really forget about it. You have to turn it off sometime and when it's done cooking. Yep. That's right, it, so sweetheart. the chicken maybe half an hour That's and one you should way be done. to cook it. Next time I will post another way. <laughs> <laughs>
or you can slide thin and you stir fry it with onion, um, beef, or whatever you protein you stir fry or egg. You can beat an egg and stir fry in that with onion, uh, carrot, shred, or any other vegetable. You can stir fry them so they can give you a different flavor. Okay, love you.